Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to do a fix for broken GPS on Cyanogen Mod 7 running on the T Mobile G2. Not everybody has this problem, but I am one of the people that does seem to have it. My GPS will never connect, it doesn't show up in the uh, taskbar at top, and uh, it just searches forever if I try to use it. I actually didn't notice until one of my subscribers asked me did I have the issue, so sorry for that in my review video. But uh, here's how to repair it. You should already have this program in CyanogenMod Mod 7. You're going to need terminal emulator. You're going to have to put some commands in by hand. I'm going to link the commands below and I'm going to link to the XDA thread for uh, this fix because you're overriding some dev blocks so it's very important you get the codes right or you could damage your phone. So, but let me walk you through it. First you're going to type SU, hit enter. That's for super user permission. It may pop up and ask for it. If it doesn't, it's because you've previously allowed it. So you're going to write stop space RMT underscore storage and hit enter. Now you're going to type DD dash IF the equal sign uh, forward slash dev forward slash zero the word not the letter or number excuse me <laughs> space o f equal sign forward slash dev forward slash block forward slash m m c b l k zero uh... p one three and press enter okay now you're going to type and there you go it shows me that it overwrote that dev block what it's basically doing is overriding a couple things that are left over from other raw or radios that you've and kernels that you've had on this device. That's what's causing the problem. So, next command we type dd space if equal sign forward slash dev forward slash zero space of equal sign forward slash dev forward slash block forward slash m m c b l k zero p one four that's the second block that you need to overwrite and now press enter and there you go it shows that you overwrote now you need to type the reboot command which is simply reboot hit enter now if I did this right when my phone reboots <laughs> I will have a repaired GPS if not I bricked my phone so bear with me here and let's hope for the best <laughs> if you'll notice there were some glitches in the video that's because I was pausing myself to make sure that I correctly entered the commands because these are very important commands uh, this is a lot the same thing you had to do if you rooted your phone back when we had to do it the hard way with all commands. Uh, there we go. We're booting up Cyanogen, so woo, save my phone. <laughs> but now we'll test out the GPS and make sure this works. But like I said, just double check and make sure you enter the commands correctly. It's very important you do it correctly because you don't want to break your phone. So we'll come back when it's all booted up and see what happens. Okay, phone's booted back up. I had to come outside so I can get a GPS signal because I can almost never get one in my house. So now we will turn the GPS on. Oh, GPS is actually already on. So let's go into Google Navigation or Google Maps and see if we can get a signal. Navigation will probably be the quickest. And we'll just go to a recent address there. And it is searching for GPS now. Ah, as you can see, my GPS icon is up now. And it does show searching. And there we go. We have a lock. 
Okay, so there we go. Google navigation worked. Uh, I got a GPS signal relatively quick. It took, what, 10 seconds? So all is fixed and working. Uh, sorry for the video cut out. I didn't quite want you guys to hear my address. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, there you go. It's all fixed. And uh, it's actually very simple. Just make sure you type the commands right. And uh, I apologize for not mentioning that in my review video. That was my fault. I did, I did not attempt to uh, do a GPS lock on. It's not something I use on my phone commonly. So I uh, hope that helps everybody. And uh, have a good one, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thanks.